Hello, and welcome to Financial Insider Weekly. I'm your host, Michael Gray, CPA. My guest today is Craig Martin, CFP. Uh, he's with the Family Wealth Consulting Group. Craig is a fee-only financial planner, and he provides asset management services. He's been doing that for over 30 years. So welcome, Craig. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you, Mike. I'm proud to be here. Your show has become an important part of quality financial education in our community. <laughs> thank we you. all thank you much for that. Mm -hmm. Yes, when we first met, um, we both had about the same amount of hair. <laughs> I, lost, I lost that race. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> okay, well, um, Craig, today we're talking about making sure your retirement portfolio outlives you. And so uh, to help our uh, viewers to sort of get into this topic, sure. why don't we just ask the question, why should I care about whether I outlive my retirement portfolio? And related to that, uh, won't Social Security cover my retirement? When I retire, how will I know how much I can spend from my portfolio and not live it? So. Those are critical, critical questions yeah. for every person out there working right now. And uh, so we spend a lifetime earning money, hoping that we're going to end up at the last day of work with enough money in our account to be able to retire comfortably. Mm -hmm. The problem for every investor is knowing how much money they need and uh, when they get to that retirement age, how much can they spend out of that retirement portfolio and not expect to outlive their retirement portfolio. Critical questions that most people are going to need professional help with. Mm -hmm. And so, one, uh, Social Security, it's not going to do ah, the job. Social Security, I forgot about <laughs> Social Security. <laughs> Easy to forget. <laughs> so, so yeah, I've worked a lifetime. I, I can start my Social Security in a couple of years, Mike. Um, and I will not do it early. I will probably wait wait longer. Uh, but but I've contributed to Social Security my entire life, and now I'm expecting those who follow me to contribute to Social Security so that I can retire. Mm -hmm. um, the classic statement of Social Security is that it's legalized Ponzi scheme. Unlike Madoff, who got caught, um, the politicians are already known. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, we expect other people to pay into the, into the program so that those of us who are withdrawing from Social Security can receive our payment over a lifetime. Um, I do think Social Security will continue. Uh, I do think they'll have to make some changes on it. Uh, the most effective change that we've done so far is to extend the retirement age. So I'll be 66 years and six months, I think, before I qualify for 100% uh, benefit. And that's true with all of the baby boomers who are coming up at my age um, or, or, or younger at, currently. So we're, we're expecting to start later uh, than age 65, our parents did. And I would expect in the near future that age will extend again. Mm -hmm. But part of the issue is, is that Social Security was never really intended to provide all of your retirement. It's just sort of a safety net, isn't that right? Yeah, it'd be tough for uh, most of us to expect to be able to live on what Social Security pays. Um, the average amount that my clients are receiving is between twenty and thirty thousand dollars a year, with thirty being very high and very infrequent. So, um, most of us are living today on sixty to a hundred thousand dollars of income in this valley. Um, it wouldn't be nice to think you're going to retire on just Social Security. Yeah, it'd be tough. Okay, well, uh, now I guess the third question that I sort of threw out because I had a, a bunch in the front yeah. is when I retire, how will I know how much I can spend from my portfolio and not outlive it? Yeah, critical question. Um, um, what, what I will show you later on in a chart is that um, um, most portfolios cannot afford to pay out 5% of the retired amount whatever your portfolio is worth at retirement. Uh, if you started pulling out 5% a year, um, in most portfolios it would spin to zero before your life expectancy. Mm -hmm. So um, um, with professional help, 
Uh, I'm biased, Mike. Uh, uh, okay. We are fee only. We, we work for the client. We're consultants and advisors, not salespeople. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of consulting with clients and helping them with those decisions as they work up to retirement and then after they reach retirement, we're managing their portfolio so that they, they have confidence it's going to outlive them. Okay. Now, how will I know when I have the right distribution amount? Ah. Uh, well, I mentioned earlier that paying 5% from most retirement portfolios is too much. So um, um, what we know in the industry is that returns are relative to risk. So what we can do is analyze a portfolio, a professional can analyze the portfolio, determine the amount of risk that you have in that portfolio, which will give us a range of expected returns. And from that risk-reward combination, we're able to tell you how much money you can retire on and not expect to outlive that portfolio. So we really have two things, don't we? So one, what does it take? Yeah. <laughs> what is our monthly nut? What is it going to take for us to have a comfortable retirement? And the other question is, is based on a realistic expectation of uh, what we, we can earn uh, from a fund, uh, what, what amount of principal do we need to accumulate uh, by the time that we actually do retire? Yes. So, so good, good, good note, uh, Mike. Uh, we need to know what you need mm -hmm. in income, mm -hmm. and, then in, and then over your lifetime that needs to be inflated. So what we say is that you need an inflation-proof income. Mm -hmm. For every $10,000 of income that you need this year, you need $10,000 plus inflation each subsequent year into the future. Right. And how much does you, how big does your portfolio need to be to provide the first $10,000 that you need and the second $10,000 up to whatever amount that you need, um, and be able to provide an inflation-proof income? That that's significant. Yeah, and it's challenging. Okay. Now, what portion of the U.S. population is in financial distress during their retirement years? Oh, when we do workshops, uh, um, one of the statements that I make is there's 50 people in the room today. I'll double that for uh, convenience yeah. of numbers today. So, so if there are 100 people in the room today, that means that 92 of you will retire 10 years after retirement, will be in financially broke. Eight of you will have some money left, and four of you will just barely be making it. Four of those eight. So that leaves 4% of the, of the population is going to be financially fit during retirement. Have that portfolio that's big enough that it will provide an inflation-proof income, satisfying their income needs for all of the rest of their life. Yeah. That's a sad indictment of the investing public. Yeah, well, 